Hey guys, welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today we are traveling to Auburn, Alabama to take on the Tigers. And it's a big time game. We have yet to beat them in this series. We are 0 for 3. And if we win today, it will extend our win streak to 15 games in a row, dating back to our loss to Auburn last season. Here we are. It is a rainy day here in Auburn as Jeremy Tate returns the opening kickoff from the two-yard line. And he'll go right up the middle to the 25. And Todd Joseph makes his return today. He will be our starting quarterback. And we'll see a little bit of Jeff Terry in there as Joseph picks up the first down on the first carry on a triple option. 95th in the country on offense is Mississippi State, averaging 311 yards per game. The defense has really carried them this season. The offense hasn't really been able to get it going. Just a couple big plays here and there as Todd Joseph gets dropped for a loss. Two consecutive plays by this nasty Auburn defense. Third and 14, and they'll go conservative here. Joseph up the middle, only getting two yards. Bulldogs content with punting the ball away trusting their stout defense. Here's Spears, new starting quarterback for the Tigers, taking over from Jason Campbell, and what a throw to mix the tight end for the first down. Jason Campbell, Ronnie Brown, and Cadillac Williams all declared for the draft last season as there was a nice catch by Pugh on the sideline. Or another Auburn Tiger first down. Big fullback Parsons gets the carry, and he'll break a tackle and pick up six or seven yards off the right side. Second and four. Parsons again, big fullback finding some space up to the 36 yard line. Another Auburn Tiger first down. And they're making this opening drive look easy. Spears looking to throw. And he's got Eaton inside the 20 yard line for another Tiger first down. This time inside the red zone. Now threatening to score. Has a 17 yard pickup. Here is Hayden on the left side. He is dropped for a loss. I believe that is Ben Sutton on the tackle. Starting right outside linebacker. Mississippi State, number one in the country on defense. 221 yards allowed per game. That is outstanding. And almost caught there on the sideline, but over the head of the intended target. Third and 13 now for Auburn. Going left side, caught by Bradford. And he somehow did not get in the end zone for a touchdown. They'll say he got taken down at the one-yard line by Donnie Kramer. Second and goal after an incomplete pass. Hayden up the middle untouched. Diving for the touchdown. Auburn takes the lead here in Alabama. 7-0 in the first quarter. Second and 10 for Todd Joseph. He's going to throw it. He'll scramble right side being very patient. Finally takes off. And he'll pick up 8 or 9 yards on the right side. He's got 17 yards on 5 carries. No option right side this time, open space in front, pitches it back to Bryson Davis who gets it to the 46 yard line. Bulldogs have relied on chunk plays this season. And that was another one right there. Bryson Davis gets a toss and he'll pick up six yards off the left side. Not very many successful toss plays that we've seen in this dynasty. Joseph looking to throw, he's got Kevin Davis wide open. That's the freshman tight end. He gets it down to the two yard line. If Joseph led him a little bit, that would have been an easy touchdown. But a good play nonetheless. Bulldogs are now in scoring position. The big wide receiver gets it down to the two and a half yard line. Here's Kenny Harding running through a defender, getting in the end zone for the touchdown. Bulldogs now tie it up seven to seven here in Auburn. It is a stormy day. You see Kenny Harding run through a defensive lineman like it was nothing. Hayden on the carry right side, drop for a loss. That is Neil Nelson, the stud left outside linebacker. He has been the anchor of this defense. Spears tries to roll left side and is sacked. And believe it or not, that is Markel McKinley's first career sack. He is a redshirt senior. Tigers will pump the ball away. Jeremy Tate back deep to return it. And he'll catch it at the 32-yard line. And spins, and he fumbles it. Picked up by Mueller at the 30, and Tate is not going to catch him, and that is a special teams blunder that results in an Auburn Tiger touchdown. Jeremy Tate shaking his head. Unbelievable play. 
Bulldogs now having to rely on their offense for this game as Joseph rolls left and throws over the middle, picked off by Roy, and he'll return to the 46-yard line. Big time mistakes, two plays in a row, a muffed punt, or a fumbled punt, excuse me, and now an interception by Todd Joseph. Spears is crushed and fumbles it. Desmond Mikuloff gets his first career fumble recovery. Unbelievable play. I'm not sure if that was a design quarterback run or he just decided to run with it. Either way, that's a turnover. Bulldogs are now back on offense. Here's Jeff Terry, and he'll pitch it out to Bryson Davis. He picks up six yards, and Terry has injured his shoulder on the play, and that is not good. You will see later on in the ball game. Second and four, Davis left side, first down and more past midfield, past the 45, hurdling two defenders up to the 40. What a run by Bryson Davis, senior halfback. Joseph under center, hands it off to Harding up the middle. He'll pick up five yards, another powerful run by the freshman fullback. Jeff Terry has torn his shoulder muscle. He will miss seven weeks, and I believe that is the remainder of the regular season. Triple option for Joseph. He is decked for a loss of two on the play. And it is now third down upcoming for the Bulldogs. Third and eight, four and a half minutes to go here in the second. Joseph, pump fakes, being very patient. Over the middle, wide open is Orlando Webb inside the red zone. Nice catch by the freshman wide receiver coming across the middle. Take another look at this replay here. Just came back for it. Third and eight. Joseph going to throw it. Tremaine Young in the back corner of the end zone. That is his first career receiving touchdown. It's actually his first career touchdown altogether. He has not been a huge part of this offense. Trying to get him a little bit more involved, though. And he makes a big play there for the offense. Spears pressured and sacked. He's dropped for an eight-yard loss. That is Neil Nelson coming on the blitz. Second and 17 for Auburn. And that is deflected and almost picked off in the backfield by Donnie Kramer. Auburn looking to complete a huge third down play here on third and 17. Going deep, and he's got Eaton past the 40-yard line. Not a good look for the Bulldog defense. Donnie Kramer getting burnt. Second and eight, I formation is Spears. is going to throw it over the middle, caught by Mix. About a yard shy of the first down as the first completion over the middle of the field for the Tigers. Third and one. Counter play to Hayden. He's got the first down and more open space in front. Breaks the tackle of Donnie Kramer. Finally taken down by George Tyler after a big pickup and a first down for Auburn. And they'll go counter again to Hayden. This time left side. Breaking a tackle. Still going past the 20. The 15 down at the 15-yard line. George Tyler taking him down again. Hayden's averaging 6.1 yards per run. And they tried to go counter again. Spears was taken down before he could hand the ball off. And that is a loss of five. Great penetration right up the middle. Third and 14, a minute to go. Spears going left side, deflected away at the last second by Donnie Kramer. That will force Auburn to send on the field goal unit. And the kick is up, and it is barely good. My goodness. He did not have a good leg for that one. First and 27 after two holding calls. Here's Todd Joseph running, scrambling up to the 25-yard line, 26-yard line maybe. And he is injured, but he does come back on the next play. Second and 11, last play of the first half. Joseph scrambling left side, and he's just going to take off, get the first down, juke, and he's going to slide, and that will be the end of the first half. A couple big runs for Dodd Joseph there. Mississippi State down 17-14 at the half to the Auburn Tigers. Very even so far in yards. Bulldogs have about 40 more yards of offense. And they got it all on those two big runs at the end of the first half. Here's a nice return by Benton in the open space. And he'll get up past the 40-yard line to about the 43. And the Tigers are in great field position to start off the second half. Second and nine. Spears pressured, hit, and almost intercepted. He is crushed by Ben Sutton. 
as he's about to throw the ball. Lucky that wasn't intercepted right there. Third and nine, shotgun formation for Spears. Left side, deflected and incomplete. Neil Nelson putting the pressure on Spears once again. Joseph from his 11 yard line scrambling. He's gonna take off past the 20, past the 30. And if Orlando Webb held that block for just another second, Joseph might have went to the house on that. Third and nine for the Bulldogs. Joseph, left side, he's got Jefferson very close to the first down, but they say he did not get it. But Ralph Kress is going to send on the offense. They're going for it. Harding's got it, but he puts it on the turf, and Snyder for the Auburn Tigers recovers it. Unbelievable. Fullback just coughed it up there. First and ten for Spears. Rolling left, throwing right, and caught somehow by Eaton. It looked like it was deflected right into his hands. Great concentration to keep his eye on the ball. See on the bottom, Texas A&M beats number three, Colorado, this week. There's another catch by Eaton. Nice spin move. Fumbles it. And as Mikuloff recovers it, that's his second fumble recovery of his career and of this game. Eaton just trying to do a little too much after the catch there. Should have just went down. Joseph pitches it out to Tremaine Young, who's got the five-yard pickup there. Nice spin move. Bulldogs have 137 yards on the ground. Auburn only 39. Second and six, triple option. Here's Bryson Davis in the open field. Past the 25, past the 30 to the 31. Another solid run by Bryson. He's got 72 yards on seven carries. Third and eight, play action from Joseph. Going deep to Kevin Davis, and the big man makes the catch. That was just a jump ball, and he mossed him. And that's a huge pickup for the first down for the Bulldogs. First and ten. Play action again here. Joseph wanted to throw it, but he was sacked for a big loss by this Tiger defense. Third and 22 for Joseph. Going deep. And he got John Pena at the 14-yard line. Junior tight end coming up clutch once again. We see that time after time in this dynasty. He has been the most consistent uh, target for our quarterbacks. First and 10. Play action from Joseph. Scrambling. Left side. And he's going to throw back to the right. And somehow caught again by John Pena. Couldn't even see him on the screen until the ball got over there. What a play. Joseph 7 of 11. 157. One touchdown. One pick today. Second and inches, Joseph's going to keep it himself and pick up the first down, maybe getting a yard on the play. Second and goal, nice 11 play, 82 yard drive right here. Joseph, left side wide open was Orlando Webb in the end zone for the touchdown. Freshman receiver coming up, getting another touchdown on the season. I believe that is his second or third. Tigers back on offense, Spears going right side, caught by Mix, the tight end at the 41-yard line. Tigers moving the chains again. That will end the third quarter with the Bulldogs on top, 21-17 over the 4-3 Auburn Tigers. They are definitely having a down year this season after losing three NFL prospects, but they are not that bad, losing to Tennessee, who was ranked in the top 10 at the time. A couple other losses to some great teams. Third and five for Spears. Going right side. Caught by Eaton. He's having himself a heck of a game. Auburn struggling today. The only 218 yards of offense after averaging 575 on the season. Hayden dropped for a big loss. Loss of three on a halfback dive right up the middle. Third and 12 for the Tigers. Spears left side wide open. Caught by Bradford. And he's going to coast into the end zone for the touchdown. George Tyler got over there, but not in time. Time just jumped just a little bit late. Couldn't get to the ball. Nice touch pass by Spears. Jeremy Tate back deep to return from the five-yard line. And he's going to run out to the middle. And Juke left side in the open space, past the 35, past the 40 to the 42-yard line before finally getting caught. Number one, Oklahoma beats Nebraska 17-10 to today. 
Triple option from Joseph. He's going to pick up the first down, it looks like. Maybe a little short. He's got 70 yards on the ground today. 160 through the air. And they did give him the first down. Triple option again. Left side. Bulldogs looking to take the lead back. Here's Bryson Davis picking up seven yards. He's got 528 yards on the year on 67 carries with just four touchdowns. As Joseph picks up the first down to the 31-yard line. Joseph and Davis both have 79 yards today. Harding only 10. That was an offside penalty right there. Free play for Joseph. Wants Kevin Davis but can't get it to him. Bartlett was the one who jumped. He's the right end. Let's take a look here. He was way off sides. And then he gets pancaked. What a shame. <laughs> Two mistakes on one play for that young man. Third and four for the Bulldogs. Joseph rolling left. Waiting, being very patient, and somehow gets it to Bryson Davis at the 15. That's his sixth consecutive completion. First and 10, Joseph. Wide open is Kevin Davis, and that was his first career receiving touchdown. And it's a big one as the Bulldogs take the lead back here in Auburn. Nice corner route by the big man. Spears looking to throw it, going deep, deflected away, almost picked off by Michael Galar. Donnie Kramer with tight coverage as well. Spears 12 of 24, 215 yards, one touchdown, still hasn't thrown a pick though. So that's good news for Auburn fans. Third and 10 though, Spears running, throwing it right side into quadruple coverage. His receiver paid the price as Michael Galar laid the wood to him. Bryson Davis with a carry. He'll pick up five yards on a wide back sweep. Bulldogs have 177 on the ground. Third and seven. Joseph, left side, caught by Orlando Webb somehow. And he gets it up to the 25, breaking a tackle. That pass looked like it was going to go the other way for six. Dangerous throw by Todd Joseph. Not sure how he fit it in there. First and 10, Justin Garrett, the backup fullback up the gut for six yards. His first carry of the game. Second and three, Jermaine Young gets the carry. Bulldogs need a first down to end the game. They get it, and Young breaks a tackle and walks into the end zone. That is his first career rushing touchdown. He's got two touchdowns today. Coming into the game, he had zero for his career. Bulldogs for the extra point. They got it, and Mike Randall... Our kicker was smacked on the play. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. Second and 10 for the Tigers. Backward pass to Bradford. He's going to lose six yards on the play. They're going to run no huddle here. See what the Tigers can do on third and 16. Bulldogs going to run zone coverage. Spears left side caught by Mix. Nice diving catch. But he's nowhere close to the first down. Fourth and 13. And they do the same exact route, and it goes nowhere. That is going to be the ball game. We finally get over the Auburn Tigers. We beat them 35-24 in their own stadium. This is our first time beating the Tigers in this series. Great win for Ralph Kress. His 15th in a row, dating back to last season. Take a look at these stats. We had 403 yards of offense. The passing game improved a lot today. Jeff Terry, who filled in for Todd Joseph, was not the best passer. We were 7 of 10 on third downs today. Three turnovers, though. we got to clean that up. Two fumbles lost and a pick. We outscored Auburn 21-7 in the second half to pull away for the win. Joseph went 12 of 16, 208 yards, three touchdowns, and one pick. That was only his second on the year. Sacked once. Bryson Davis had 84 yards on 11 carries. Joseph had 73. Jermaine Young with 22 yards in his first career rushing touchdown. Kenny Harding, 9 yards today. Defense really keyed on him, but he did have a touchdown. He also fumbled on the day. Orlando Webb, 3 catches, 50 yards and a touchdown. Kevin Davis came up big today. 3 catches, 88 yards and a touchdown. And Tremaine Young, his only catch was for that touchdown in the second quarter, I believe. John Pena allowed the only sack today. I'm not sure how the tight end gets credited for that. Neil Nelson, Bernard Moreno led the team attack us with four. Our offense was on the field the majority of the game, so our defense didn't have a whole lot of stats. But we did have 
seven tackles for a loss today, two sacks, one for Markel McKinley, who's a redshirt junior. I believe he said he was, I said he was a senior earlier, but he's a redshirt junior. A lot of pass deflections today. Three force fumbles, George Gaines, Michael Galar, Antoine Finch, and both recoveries today were from Desmond Mikulov, sophomore defensive tackle. I'm going to let you guys take a look at all the other games for week 9. Week 10 is a bye week for us, so you'll also be looking at the games for that week as well. Uh, we do take on Kentucky next Saturday. I'll bring that video to you guys. Uh, Monday will be Madden Monday. We're taking on the Miami Dolphins after we throttled the Atlanta Falcons on Monday Night Football. If you have not watched that video, go ahead and check that one out. I also have two more tournament videos next week. We've got St. Francis taking on Wagner and the Fordham Rams taking on the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils. And that will conclude our round two matchups for that tournament. We'll move ahead to round three. I've already started the South Tournament. I've made a bunch of the teams. and I've played a few games. A lot of good ones so far. I can't wait to bring those to you. But I'll see you guys in the comments section below. Take it easy, guys.